All right, guys, welcome to the video today. So in this video, we're going to be talking about playing anti-meta. And, and what I'm using right now is not necessarily completely like the polar opposite of what is the meta right now. Obviously, last word is still amazing. Snipers have their spot. Uh, generally speaking, you don't really see them in much other than 3v3 nowadays. You used to see them in Rumble a lot because like sniping was like the promoted style of play. Everyone wanted to learn how to snipe. Everyone wanted to snipe. It was just kind of the fun and yet very effective thing to do. And people did it a lot, but you don't really see it as often as you would in the past. And additionally, I'm using Sunsinger, which um, that adds to the layer of, of oddity of, of the setup I'm using. So last word sniper with a Sunsinger is um, it's pretty rare nowadays, but it's actually quite effective and I wanted to share that within this video so the thing about the meta is that there's a certain set of weapons people are using you see legendary hand cannons you see shotguns you don't see a lot of last word snipers and you definitely do not see a lot of sunsinger and i feel like when you have the, this certain setup right so you have this the set of weapons that everyone is using everyone is practicing with they're they're kind of just used to battling each other right so they're used to palindrome versus palindrome fights shotgun versus shotgun fights but they kind of lose that that sense or that ability of playing versus a different style of play and this happens to me a lot when i play against like fusion rifle players sidearm players that are actually really good with that setup i get destroyed because I, I don't know how to play against it and i get super frustrated because it's like the setup that in my mind i don't think should be working yet somehow it's completely destroying me i remember around a month ago when inspire and i were doing gbs we ended up playing against a team with a player who used mida sidearm on a sun singer and obviously this is a very unorthodox setup you don't really see it too often and generally when you do it seems to be like the confused player that like just came from pve or whatever or just bought the game or something he doesn't exactly understand the like the meta or the most effective weapons or whatever weapons he should be normally picking but in this case like the player was actually really good you could tell he was like an experienced and intelligent player um, and he ended up doing really well and it's weird because me and inspire we were confused by it. like we didn't know what to do like what works well against sidearms what works well against um, you know, a side art because he's using sticky grenades too. And you know, stickies, they're not like underpowered. I personally don't think they're overpowered. They're a very situational grenade where like you can pick up that one, you know, instant kill every once in a while, but it's not as consistent as something like a firebolt once was or an axion or a skip grenade currently is. Um, so so we I was surprised, uh, honestly, to see him do as well as he did with it. And the main reason is people, people become unaware of how to play against it. And I remember in the whole like, sh you know, sniper meta I didn't play against that many shotgunners and it was really weird because I just figured the person on the other side of that wall is gonna have a last word just like I do and I'm gonna be able to push them like I normally would and then you get shotgunned and you become confused and you kind of forget that there are, are more loadouts out there than you would normally like kind of expect and when you see a player that has you know a lot of success with using something like a sidearm and a mida on a sunsinger it kind of gets you thinking what setups can i actually do well with so you, see, you see players like kj hovey using you know like no land beyond sidearm and doing super well with it it's, it's not something you'd normally see and i actually played against him in doubles when he did this and i did i didn't i mean i did all right but it like it was very confusing to play against and I kept on getting killed and killed and killed by him because I didn't know how to play against it. Normally you have like this certain set of ranges where their primary is effective for and their secondary is effective for and you kind of know that range for the two general loadouts. You have the last word sniper and then the legendary or exotic hand cannon shotgun and you kind of know which area depending on what loadout they have and what loadout you have you can challenge out but when it, when you add these new weapons in like a fusion rifle or a sidearm and like or like a universal remote or a no land beyond it completely throws these these distances that you're normally used to like completely out of whack the main point of this video is to try to convey that just because you see one thing being talked about as the best weapon or the quote-unquote meta so like, for example clever dragon palindrome um, matador all those things that doesn't necessarily mean that to succeed in PvP that is the only thing you can use if you think about like a rumble lobby you're gonna have six players right and if they're all running the same exact thing if they're all running palindrome matador and you're running a palindrome matador you have to be better than them at their own game right so everyone is using the same exact thing everyone is generally well practiced in that subject or um, you know that play style or whatever you're generally all going to be pretty good at it and if everyone is good at one thing and it's the same exact style and type of gameplay then what's going to happen is that there's nothing setting you apart from them like you sometimes you'll win sometimes they'll win uh, whether that be gunfights or the, the game as a whole or whatever but when you when you kind of try experimenting into, into different play styles like last word sniping on a sun singer or maybe you know using some, some different loadout like a sidearm or a fusion rifle if you get really good at that 
then suddenly you start to pull away and you become good at your own thing, your own class, your own play style. And, and that's where I found the most success. Like when I was when I was using, you know, Poundro Matador, which is widely considered to be the quote unquote meta, I was doing good in Rumble, but like all the games were very close. The, the engagements were very like inconsistent. Like the same person, one time they would destroy me, one time I would beat them in a gunfight. I would just go back and forth. And I feel like with Last Word Sniper, even though it's considered not good r right now by the community and by a few videos I've posted in the last week or two, considered to just be weak overall and, and a dead playstyle, I found that even though it's considered, you know, torrible or whatever, I still do the best on it out of everything. It's kind of just what you're used to and what you're best at. And that's all I wanted to do is to encourage that if you're good with some certain loadout, don't switch just because the meta has changed or because of, you know, Bungie telling you that they're nerfing this or nerfing that. Go out and experiment with it. If it feels good, keep going. If it, if it doesn't, obviously you can change. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace.